We are also covering the Republican race for Chief Justice of the Alabama Supreme Court. Two people trying to win that nomination. Sarah Stewart, currently an associate justice on the state Supreme Court, facing off against Brian Taylor, former state senator. And our Brendan Kirby is live at Stewart's watch party at Greer's in downtown Mobile. And Brendan, I suspect someone's very happy. Yeah, uh, it looks like a big win here for Justice Stewart. Uh, unofficial results, but it looks like uh, unofficially, at least, you are going to be the Republican nominee for Chief Justice for the uh, Supreme Court. How's it feel? It feels wonderful. I really appreciate the trust of the Alabama people. We uh, have a great opportunity to do some great things for the court system and for Alabama. And, um, you know, I ran on a campaign of reestablishing trustworthiness in the court system, and I feel really good that the people reacted to that and responded to that. And you had a huge uh, financial advantage in this race over your opponent, but you also had the support, I think, of 129 circuit and district judges across the state, uh, including a lot right here in Mobile where you served as a circuit court judge. What does that mean to have the support uh, of all those judges? It means a lot. I was a circuit judge here in Mobile for 13 years, and these are my peers, the people that I depend on for companionship and friendship, and so having their support as being the leader of the justice system is incredibly humbling and makes me really happy. And a lot of people uh, might not realize this, but uh, as the Chief Justice, it's really only part of your job to be reviewing cases that come before the court. You've got this whole administrative end uh, that you have to deal with for the whole court system. What are your top priorities for on that? So my top priorities are really threefold. One is to reestablish the resources and the, the support staff that the judges need down in the trial courts. The second part is to work cl more closely with law enforcement to do something about the epidemic of crime that we have going across the state. And then the third part is just to, tr to provide the training and the um, leadership and management skills that our branch needs to be the very best that we can be for our citizens. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate sure. it. And uh, Justice Stewart does have a Democratic opponent in the fall, so I'm sure we're going to be hearing more from her and him uh, as the fall campaign heats up. Right now, uh, back to you, Byron and Williams. <laughs>